Hello and dwarves, welcome to Let's Switch Computers. I'm going to have a look at this Asus laptop, which has got apparently some kind of display fault at the moment. So uh, just turn that on and see what that does. Not quite sure what to expect here. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Disco, disco. Let's take that apart and get another panel plugged in. So we'll drop the battery out. Alright, the plastic is a bit cracked in the corner here, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful to try and get this off without breaking it entirely. It's not a razor panel. I was expecting this one to be a razor panel with the uh, thickness that we've got. Okay, right, looking for visual issues. The display cable looks to be in pretty good condition. It's coming up the left hand side where there's no visible damage. And um, this is an LED panel, so there's no, um, there's no inverter, so it's a very simple cable. So I think it's going to be a matter of the panel. This should be quite straightforward to, uh, to diagnose. So let's drop out that panel so we can plug something else in. Uh, let's, let's do this. lower that off the back. There you go. Okay, that looks good. We've got a solid picture, so let's just start giving that some abuse and seeing if it does anything psychedelic. Right. Right, there seems to be no issues there. Anything that was enough to cause what we were seeing there will definitely cause an issue on this panel. That's definitely happy. Right. Yeah, and straight away we're getting the, uh, the flickering. Right, we need a new display panel. I don't have one, so I'll see you when I do. Right, one screen cut later, I now have a replacement panel. So we'll go ahead and take this fella out. That's disconnected. Right, old panel in the bin. New panel out of packaging. 
Alright, just turn that around the right way. And then what we do, put in the top ones first so it's supported, and then you don't have to constantly hold the panel. Okay, right, before we actually close this all up properly, we'll just do a quick test just to make sure. And we have success. I'm just spamming into, uh, oh, well, I was just going to spam into BIOS, but it's giving me startup options anyway. At any rate, though, we can see that that is now fully functional. So we'll just finish those last screws and we'll be finished. One bezel. if I can do it without gluing my fingers together this time. Okay, right, and past that we're done. So now I just need to move on to physically cleaning the laptop, then we'll give it a service and then we're finished. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye for now.